position uh, for Michael Cruz this weekend. Uh, great start for the weekend, Michael. Yeah, really happy, mate. Uh, the uh, car's going a bit better than the driver, so I'll uh, try and pull my finger out this afternoon. But, uh, it was a nice, nice uh, morning. Well, a good uh, almost full second ahead of uh, the second on the grid, so certainly a great effort. And we've got to attribute uh, some of that to the gentleman standing next to you, Mr Vin Whitehead, who pretty much built the car for you. Yeah, that's right, mate. Uh, Vin's an old family friend and he's done such an amazing job on the car with my brother Paul and uh, it's uh, really, really fantastic. And the reason he's standing here, uh, the reason I'm standing here is because he's, he's uh, really helped us all, the, all through the years, but particularly lately, yeah, so it's been fantastic. Well, Vin, how long did it actually take to uh, build this car up? Oh, it's been happening over a few years now. I couldn't tell you, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, a long time. Yeah. Well, certainly uh, a great little jig. Is there much more development you can do with this car? There's a little bit left, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> development in the uh, driver I reckon so <laughs> well guys good luck for the weekend and uh, you never know we might be having a chat at the end of the weekend yeah thanks very much mate and I'd like to thank all the all the sponsors VACC Our Auto uh, New Line Homes Educational uh, Learning and uh, and anyone who I've missed I apologise DHH Photography thanks thanks very much the RX-7 earlier this year at Bathurst and haven't been out on track since but pulled the grandmother's car out mate. 
Yeah, we pulled the old girl out of retirement. It's the first time she's turned a wheel in Angus since 2010. Um, we were placed at a pretty big rebuild on the RX-7, so we pushed that to the corner for a moment. Um, we did a bit of work on this old girl, and we got her back out there amongst it. And it's, uh, can I say, it's just great to be back in it. Well, it has a bit of history because your grandmother bought it new. Yeah, this is my grandmother's car brand new. She bought this car when I was two years of age. Um, she was from Mildura. She used to come down and see me, and I used to look forward to, to being driven around in this car. I got a lot of happy memories with it. Um, in 19, or 2001, she couldn't drive it, um, so I bought her a replacement car and took this off her hands. Um, we had to do something with it, so I decided to turn it into a race car and um, had a lot of fun with it ever since. And she was quite passionate about it because she had uh, pictures of the car up on the wall and used to come to the race. Yeah, and particularly she loved coming out to Sandown. She had pictures of on the wall, trophies, everything like that. Um, she gave me a bit of a hard time when we crashed it. We had a pretty decent crash not once at Phillip Island. Got a phone call from her and got told off. And I got told to make sure we fix it up straight away, which we did. And, and look, she really enjoyed the fact that we're out and about and having a bit of fun with it. Well, it certainly looks great out on the track, mate. And uh, you've one race down. We've got two more tomorrow. Hopefully the rain holds off and good luck with it. Thanks very much, Pete. And um, of course, thanks to all our great sponsors. Um, of course, VAC, so our auto. We've got um, DLL Photography, Yokohama, New Line Homes. Um, of course, my own sponsors, Medic on Call. Um, thanks very much and uh, look forward to getting out there tomorrow. Thanks, Pete. Richard, uh, race one down, uh, qualified 15th, finished uh, 16th after race one. How's the car travelling after Sandown? Yeah, pretty good. Um, Sandown had a few issues with the dip carry and broke a couple of those, so didn't finish the last two races. So pretty happy to finish one today. Um, yeah, it was good. Had a good race. Well, the car's a lot straighter than uh, after the Sandown round. Uh, obviously, the boys worked hard uh, between rounds. Thanks for bringing that up, Pete. Uh, yeah, car's a bit straighter, looking good. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll finish that way this round. Well, you've, you certainly turn out well. Um, certainly a nice, nice turnout in the, uh, the, the RX-8. Um, how long or how much more development do you think is uh, in the car? Oh, my main thing this season was to, to just get a season under the belt. I think a lot of the development's between my ears, really. It's, it's in my head. The car's actually really good. Um, probably have an extra, an extra 10 or 15 horsepower, but, um, but the car's good, it feels good, and, and as far as development, yeah, it usually happens because it's brand new, but um, I think we're getting there, so it's really tough here now. <laughs> well, hopefully the rain holds off, two more races to go. Good luck with it. Thanks, Pete. Cheers. Right. Wayne, qualified 18th, finished 11th, race one down. How's the car travelling this weekend? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I had a good day on Friday. Did a couple of PBs, actually, and I thought I was going really well. Then somebody said to me, oh, they've improved the track surface. Everybody's going a bit faster. So, oh, I thought it was just me. And I couldn't quite match that today. But, I was, look, the car's going really well. It's reliable. It's, I haven't had any issues with it. And uh, once again, we've got a capacity field. You know, it's like... Every race this year has been capacity, and it'll probably happen to the rest of the for the rest of the year. So it's great being out there with about 38 to 40 cars. It's uh, awesome. yeah, yeah, it is a big field, and I've got to say I love the uh, tribute to your brother uh, Calvin on the bottom. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, it's just been just over two years, and but a lot of people still come up to me talking to me about him. And a lot of the cars have still got his uh, name on, so he's he's not forgotten. And then when I go out there, I sort of think about him. So just give me a bit of inspiration. So. Yeah. He might have been your help for the PB. Yes, uh, he might well have been. So I've just got to match that PB tomorrow and I'll be real happy. But look, in coming 11th, there were a few guys did drop out, so I think they'll probably come and uh, might try and round me up tomorrow. So anyway, but the main thing is cars got absolutely no problems and I'm go going well, so it's a good, good thing. Fantastic, mate. Well, two races tomorrow. Hopefully the weather holds up and uh, we wish you the best of luck. OK, thank you very much, Peter, and thanks to all of our sponsors.
Greg Caspers, mate, two races down. How's the weekend travelling for you? Yeah, not too bad, mate. We're um, car's going pretty good, but we've had some fuel pressure issues, which we had yesterday. Did some work on the car yesterday, but um, still got some drums, so we're hoping we'll have that sorted for the next race. Uh, just whack a new filter in it, and uh, hopefully that clears the problem. Yeah, we got um, fuel blocks in the in the petrol tanker breaking down and blocking the pump, so we had some issues yesterday, so we slowed it down, and same sort of problem today, unfortunately. So hopefully we we'll overcome it and, and uh, get back on top of it for the next race. Now, are you preparing for the nationals this year, entering? No, nah, not me, mate. Not, not not this time. Hopefully next time. But but I'm I'm fairly new on the block. But. Uh, um, we get a bit more practice and, and get the cars going pretty good, but the driver's not so good. So, um, in due course, we'll get there in due course. Well, we've got one more race to go. Hopefully, you've sorted the problems and uh, finished well. Thanks, mate. Thanks, thanks to you, Pete, for what you do for our club with uh, with the video and everything. And thanks to all our sponsors for supporting the club. They do a fantastic job. Matthew, uh, two races down at uh, Winton, fairly new to the category. Tell us a little bit about the uh, Commodore. Um, I bought it over in Perth there last year and it took me nearly a year to sort of get around and to using it and getting the, doing the licence and things like that. So yeah, last round at Sandown was my first round and then yeah, this is the second one. So, so uh, how's the development of the car gone? Uh, it's going alright, I didn't have to change too much, just the wiring and some brake pedals um, and a bigger seat for myself. And, and, and get into it, sort of it's a steep learning curve, never been in round racing before, so yeah, it's all good. So uh, we've got uh, Phillip Island coming up and then the Nationals, you're going to be able to make it to those? Uh, I'll do Phillip Island, but uh, I'm not eligible for the Nationals, so yeah, well, Phillip Island will be a, another steep learning curve for me. No, fantastic, mate. Uh, we've got one more race to go. How do you think you'll travel this weekend? Oh, it's all steady as you go, and as um, long as I can drive it on the trail, I'll be happy. Just at this stage of my career, anyway. Well, you're certainly having some great uh, dices in uh, race two with uh, Paul Cravots in the uh, Honda Civic, so we uh, wish you the best of luck for race three. No worries. Yeah, we'll have a good little dice there, and um, I finally got him in the end, and I went wide on turn six, I think it was, and he ducked up under me, and yeah, then the race was finished. So, yeah, we're having a good little dice and starting to get into it and enjoying it, so, yeah, it's all good. Kevin, uh, out of HQs and into IP in the little 120Y. Yeah, it's a little bit like Nana's car on steroids. I absolutely love it. It's great fun to drive and, and pretty quick. Well, it would be pretty quick around here at Winton. Yeah, well, it's our first time in it at Winton, bar a test session. And, um, well, we run third in that last one. I'm absolutely having a ball. So I think if the driver actually catches up with the car, there could be a little bit more yet as well. Well, yeah, not a lot of development. You bought it as a race car. Have you done much to it since? No, nah, look, we bought it off Doug Moss from New South Wales. It was already a really, really quick car, so they told me. Um, well, I actually did have a new owner from somebody in between down at Phillip Island, the Sampsons, um, who didn't really do much with it. So we picked it up, put it back on the track, drive it the way it is, and, hey, it's pretty quick. As I said, I think the biggest thing at the moment is just the driver catching up and figuring out how it all works. Well, mate, one more race for the weekend. We wish you the best of luck. Third in race two, certainly a great effort. Yeah, looking forward to it. We've got a few little dramas there. We've uh, had some, some gear oil leaks, but I think the guys have found it. So um, we'll go and try again and see what happens. Making it to uh, Phillip Island for the next round? Good question. I've still got the Group N car as well, which I wouldn't mind giving it a shake down because that's a week before a historic stand down. But uh, we'll see. I guess we'll just have to see. Best of luck for the rest of the weekend. Lovely. Thank you.
haul three races down, wins and weekend. Uh, it's certainly been an interesting weekend for you, quite a few uh, trips back and forth to uh, uh, fix things up. Tell us what's happened this weekend so far. Well, it started off with uh, a new gearbox after last round, it blew up, so I got one built, um, put that in, found out on Wednesday night that it wasn't working, took it out after half an hour being in the car, um, I got it back the next day, then we come out here Friday morning, drove in the paddock for 30 metres, back home for another gearbox swap. Uh, then back on uh, Friday night, 9 o'clock, so that was the start to the weekend. Then on um, Saturday, uh, electric water pump died, so we had to get one for Melbourne, missed the first race and um, start from back to field today, and um, ended up a respectable place at the end of the day, so turned out not too bad for Father's Day. So. Well, you're certainly having some great dices with uh, the, the V8 of Logan and, and so on, but uh, to finish 21st for the weekend uh, with one race down, not, not too, uh, too shabby at all. Thank you for that. Yeah, had a great time. Um, people are good. Uh, drivers are all great. There was no bumping and nudging, so I was real happy with that. Take the car home nice and straight, nice close racing. So, yeah, had a great weekend with that side. Well, we look forward to seeing you at the next round. I'll be back for the next round for sure. Thanks. Nathan, um, into the uh, final race, uh, it was certainly dog-eat-dog -dog between you and Nathan Gear, but uh, came out uh, equal on points but uh, winning the final race gives you the round win. Congratulations. Thanks, mate. I uh, didn't expect it, I'll tell you that much. Um, and as I said earlier, it's uh, sort of the first two, let's call it real wins, that we've had this year. So um, you know, by default, two other things happening. But uh, today we left it on the track, which was awesome, and had a great battle with uh, Nathan. Well, obviously the cars are running extremely well at the moment because it certainly performed very well over the whole weekend. Yeah, it's going well. I mean, I, <clears throat> you know, it's a, as everyone knows, it's one of those things where you just got to keep testing and testing and changing and changing, and hopefully it pays off, which it seems to be doing now. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll do a little bit more development over the off season and and come back next year just as strong. One more round to go down at uh, Phillip Island before the Nationals. Uh, we'll see you down there. Yeah, absolutely. Can't wait. It'll be, uh, it'll be the battle. And I can't wait to uh, take on all the guys that are up there with us. You know, we've got Lloydie and we've got um, Guy and me and Braun. Um, it's going to be strong there as well. So, uh, mate, looking forward to it. Well, certainly this championship is coming down to the wire. It's, uh, it's certainly been a tough battle this year. So we wish you the best of luck for it, mate. Awesome. Thanks very much.